Every year, our photographers shoot tens of thousands of photographs while on assignment for the Virginian pilot. Here's a selection of their favorites from the year 2013. A picture of armed guard standing next to a black-winged angel is not what you're looking at. It is Mrs. Virginia Ember announcing the silence auction winner of the shotgun held by her husband, Nick. Sometimes a rare chance allows us to juxtapose elements in the picture to add a layer of unexpected humor to the frame. I really appreciated the opportunity. My name is Hyunsu Leo Kim, a staff photographer of the Virginian Pilot. In the early hours of June 13, 2013, Eleanor Grace was born, the first daughter of my coworker Mike Hicksonbaugh. Later that day, I was surrounded by uniformed men and their daughters in their finest dresses at the military father-daughter ball in Virginia Beach. From watching a tiny baby held in her father's arms for the first time, to seeing little girls take turns around the dance floor with their dads, the emotional range of the day was astounding. It made me deeply thankful to be a newspaper photographer in Hampton Roads. Amanda Lucier, staff photographer, the Virginian pilot. The trek was unnerving and, for the most part, pitch black. With little light, we traversed bogs filled with insects, swarms of mosquitoes, spider webs washed across our faces every turn. I made it relatively unscathed. Our reporter ended up with bites from several ticks and what we suspect were chiggers. We were documenting researchers as they recorded the calls of tree frogs. Their goal was to gain some understanding as to why frogs are disappearing around the world. And while it was uncomfortable, I got to marvel at the beauty of moonlit swamps of Virginia. Brian Clark, video producer and photographer for the Virginian Pilot. Many people had waited overnight for their chance to see a doctor or dentist last summer at the remote area medical clinic in southwest Virginia. Bed sheets created waiting rooms in one of the buildings where a young med student from EVMS charted information from a patient as others waited to be seen. Held once a year in Wise, the clinic for most is the only time they would see a doctor or dentist during the year. Bill Tiernan, the Virginian pilot. My father devoted over 20 years of his life serving in the U.S. Navy after immigrating into the States. Through his active duty, he was able to provide for our family, purchase his first home, support my mother as she attended classes at ODU, and help raise my sister and I in a stable environment. It's been over two decades since my father retired, yet the presence of the military still runs warm in my psyche. Any time I find myself on an assignment involving the military, I lean on my distant memories. This particular photograph is an example of drawing from my past to report on the present. I am Rich Joseph Facoon, staff photographer with the Virginian Pilot. This was a story about Noble Street Baptist Church opening an outreach center for teens at their Portsmouth church. It was late August and school was just a week away. The guys were playing basketball in the gym and the girls were swimming in the indoor pool. A kick of the heel and a tilt of the head. It was a nice little moment about the joy of youth. This is Steve Early, staff photographer for the Virginian Pilot. A candlelight vigil honors a mother and child who was killed by a reckless driver the night before. I see two young ladies crying and embracing each other. I feel so uneasy while photographing them. The hardest part of all is asking for their names. After speaking with them, I find out one of them is the victim aunt. This is one of the most difficult moments as a journalist for me. My name is Tefa, photojournalist of the Virginian Pilot. I chose a photo I took of the Bonnie Island Light Station restoring its light this spring. I just love the history and the mood of this photo, down to the park ranger standing in the doorway late at night. I'm Todd Spencer, staff photographer with the Virginia Pilot. The picture of Mark Lieber, 17, and Asha McCormick, 14, working their way across Mount Trashmore during a training run is one of my favorites of the year. It's not visually complicated. It's simply a picture of one friend helping another. Mark is a local running star, Ashton a quiet teen with autism. They connected a year and a half ago through racing and are quite special together. I like the size difference between the two and their environment. When they are together, their world is small, just Ashton and Mark, best friends. This is Vicki Cronus Noe, staff photographer for the Virginian Pilot. Your reason for liking this image and mine are very different. Sure, it's pretty eye-catching, but you see, all my working life I've imagined how cool it would be to bring my child on assignment. At six months old, Sawyer certainly didn't know exactly what he was seeing. 
though he was completely mesmerized as he stared over the water, is that somewhere in that beautiful little brain of his is emblazoned a magical image of this massive creature exploding from the water. Hopefully years from now, maybe he'll be halfway around the world when he witnesses the same spectacular event and he feels this odd sense of deja vu and maybe he'll think about his old man. This is Stephen Katz. I'm a photojournalist at the Virginian Pilot.